Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we're going to cover how to create Twitch channel point rewards for your Twitch spawn rule sets. Let's get started. So first of all, what is a channel point reward? Well, a channel point reward will allow your viewers to click on a channel point and redeem something that you've set up. For instance, let's take a look here. So I have a few channel point rewards on my account. And if somebody were to click on the channel points, they would be able to select many different channel points that I've already set up. They're really easy to set up. One of the things that you might want to do first is to take a look and decide what you want for your channel point. You're going to want to, you know, of course, give it a name and you're going to want to decide what's going to happen when somebody clicks that channel point, right? So in order to set up a channel point, first thing that I normally do is I come here to my stream settings and on the left hand side here where it says viewer rewards, I click on channel points. And then under channel points, you have the ability to choose manage rewards and challenges. So we'll click on that. From here, you're gonna want to take a look at all your, if you already have channel points, then you'll see them here. But if you don't have any, you'll need to add a new custom reward, right? You'll probably see the default ones, which are down here as you can see, but click on where it says add new custom reward. So we're gonna click this here and you'll get this screen. And like I said, what you wanna do is you wanna give your reward a name. So if you've already thought about what you wanna do and the reward that you want and what's gonna happen when you give that reward, you may have already come up with a name for it, right? So today I'm gonna to add a new channel point to spawn sheep. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna give this a quick name of sheep, okay? So that's gonna be the reward name. For the description, now you don't have to put anything in for the description, but might as well put something. So here we're gonna just say, spawn some sheep. There you go. Now, we don't have to have the, um, the viewer enter any type of text because they're gonna click on the channel point reward button and then they'll see all those rewards. So we're not gonna have to type anything in. So we're not gonna enable this. This is where we're gonna to have to give it a cost. So if you don't already have any uh, channel points on your channel, you can determine how much you want your viewer to pay in order to use this channel point, okay? So mine range anywhere from 50 all the way up to 100,000. So you'd have to be on my channel for quite some time to use that one. However, um, let's take a look, I think, I think I can do for sheep, I'm gonna do um, 250 points. For 250 points, your viewer will be able to go ahead and click this button and then whatever action that you've set for this in your rule, that's gonna happen, okay? So they have a reward, you can set up icons. So if you've already added or created icons for your rewards, you can go ahead and add those here and you can change your background color. So let's just take a look, sheep are white. So we're just gonna go ahead and just make it white. They're, I guess they're white and I guess they could be different colors. Well, that's okay. This this one, we're, we're gonna make it easy. We're just gonna go ahead and make it white. Um, let's see, I don't think we need anything else. Uh, there's a cooldown limit. So in case you don't want your viewers to consistently go in and press this reward over and over and continue to do it, um, you can add a limit to it, which I can, I definitely would recommend it if, if you're not really wanting this to happen consistently. If it's an, if it's a spawn of, of a sheep, you may not want it, you know, kill your Minecraft character. Uh, then yes, you, you might want to go ahead and set a, a cooldown limit to where you can only press this once every 10 minutes or something like that. Uh, but for me, I'm not, I'm not going to go ahead and, and add that this time. So then let's go ahead and just click on create. So then you'll see up here, uh, it added sheep for 250. 
and that will be there when we go to the stream. So now if I, if I actually edit, uh, if I go into my stream here, and if I click on the channel points, you'll see there's now sheep available. So that'll be perfect. So let's get into how to write the rule in order to spawn the sheep. So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna open up your rules file and your rules file, uh, I would definitely recommend opening it after you've started Minecraft, okay? If you're gonna make any changes to your rules file, start Minecraft first. You can even go into your world. All right, there we are. So now we can see the world is loaded. Let's start Twitch spawn. And now we can see that our rules file, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? It's loaded, everything is golden. The, the reason why I say to, to launch Minecraft first before you edit your rules file is you can edit your rules file while you're in the game. And if you save your rules file and you come here and write TS quick refresh or Twitch spawn quick refresh, if there's an error in something that you just wrote, it's gonna tell you right here on the screen. That's the easiest way in order to debug what you've done, okay? So let's go ahead and go back out to Notepad++. And like I said, we're gonna add a new channel point to our rules file here. And I said it was gonna be 250. So I guess it's not gonna matter where I put it in here. So I'm just gonna head and at the end of spawn cows, I'm gonna do a break and then I'm gonna start it here as well. And make sure I'm at the beginning of the line because you don't want a space or an indent. Okay, those are the key words that you'll hear that you'll see in your debugging. When you're debugging Twitch spawn, you'll see there's a missing indent on such and such line. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I'm at the beginning of the line. I'm gonna write a comment or spawn sheep, okay? And then let's go ahead and uh, what we're gonna do is just like the, the previous ones, I'm gonna go ahead and, and spawn 10 sheep when somebody clicks on that button, okay? And I'm gonna make sure that when I spawn the 10 sheep that I'm gonna do that instantly for two of them. I, I have here, uh, as you can see in the spawn cows, four, five times, and then wait another two seconds, spawn five more, and then display something on the screen and then I'll have on my Twitch channel point reward and then the title, okay? So let's go ahead and start this here. So we're gonna start with both. And then when you click enter your next line, you will need an indent. That just simply means add a space. So click the space bar for an indent. And then we, dot, we type out four, five times. We're gonna summon sheep now where do i want to summon these sheep so i want to summon these sheep pretty much right in front of me okay so we're going to go ahead and just do something like this so that sheep will pretty much spawn right in front of me now if you want to give if you want to display something on the sheep like if you want to give the sheep the name of the person who spawned it then we have to write some mbt data Okay, so just like as you can see above here, this data that you see right up here is that's very similar to what you want to write. Okay, now that we've typed out four or five times summon sheep and where we want to summon it, if we want to add more to it, we have to include that information in the percent signs. Okay, we're going to add some MBT data here that's going to give our sheep the name of the person who clicked the button and then we'll give it some fun name right so we're going to do custom name and let's take a look here we're going to give it the name of the person and so there's sheep so what what could be a creative name that we can use for sheep let's do the bob posse <laughs> B-A-A -A Posse. Okay, why not? That's fun. Okay, 
And then we're gonna close that. Uh, we're also going to make sure that that's visible so that when they're spawned, that they can see the name above. So custom name visible. Okay, and then make sure that has a one so that it's visible. And then we'll close that out and that should be done. Okay, now what we're gonna do after we spawn those first five is we're gonna wait two seconds. And then we're going to uh, and wait two seconds and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So remember with both, you have to use and Uh, before your next statement. So we're going to do four or five times summon sheep and we're going to wait two seconds and then we're going to four or five times summon more sheep. And then what we're going to do is we're going to display something on the screen. So displaying. Uh, we're going to write some text here. What we're gonna write? So we're gonna write uh, for the sheep. Uh, let's take a look and see. How about uh, we're just gonna say "Ba Posse to the rescue." Okay. Make sure we have everything there, and then we can actually close this. And then we're gonna make sure that we write out our Twitch channel point reward. So on Twitch channel point reward now after that we're going to say with title and this is going to be the title that you chose when you created the channel point so with title is and if it's if it's more than one word you're going to have to surround it in the parentheses but if it's only one word, then you can just write it out just like that. So with title is sheep. Okay. We're going to make sure we have a break line after this. And we have only one space between the next rule. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and save that. And if we go back into Minecraft, We're going to go ahead and run our Twitch spawn quick refresh. And that will tell us that we wrote everything correctly. Now, let's just take a look and see what happens if if I accidentally did something. Like if I accidentally forgot to add the and. Okay, so I'm going to save those. And we're going to come back here and we do another quick refresh. It's going to tell me that we have a problem. Now, it's going to say, fail to load the syntax. It's going to give you some information like invalid length of words, expected one, four, or five, okay? Because it doesn't know what to do in this situation. So the best thing to do is to take a look at what you, what you were doing here and say, okay, so I'm using both. Oh, I see. I forgot to add the and. And then I need another and here. All right, let's save that. And let's go back in here. Yep, and that fixed it. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make sure that this is working. So let's go ahead and run a Twitch spawn simulate event. And in order to do a simulate event, um, we do event and the name of the event. So in this case, Twitch channel point reward. Okay, and then a comma. And then in order to know which reward we want, we write title just like we did in the rule. And then the name of the title. Sheep. See if that works. Oh, I forgot to add some quotation marks. 
around sheep. Oh, actually, it's this. There we are. There we are. There's five sheep there. It's going to wait two seconds. And it add two more. Or five more, actually. There they are. All right. So it looks like that channel point was added with no problem. So now anytime somebody wants to go ahead and spawn some sheep when they're in your stream, they can go to your channel points and simply click on sheep. I really hope this video helped you out today. If you have any other comments or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you out there and playing Minecraft. Take care.